Right then, so second bid, a bit waffly, sorry, but there you go. Binomial is quite easy when we get started. So it says for the assumptions, so that each student asked studies maths independently of each other's and the probability is constant. So them are the assumptions that we, we have. Then you might be asked to kind of comment on the assumptions. So I guess the idea is if you walked into a classroom, uh, a maths classroom, they're not going to be independent of each other, are they? So, you know, and the second assumption, uh, what does it say? Uh, so it says, second assumption may have a hold if students from a chemistry class, most chemistry students are studying maths. Um, so it's just talking about if it would work or not. Sort of rubbish, really. <laughs> right then. So define it, state the distribution, and state any assumptions if you need to. We don't really do the assumptions unless it tells us to. So it says on average 90% of a particular type of seed germinate and 10 such seeds are planted. Let x equal the number of seeds germinated. So to state the distribution, it's x follows a binomial. There's 10 seeds and a 90% chance of, um, of success. So 0.90 there. So the probability that x is equal to 8. So I'm going to do a b, p, d, with x is equal to 8, num trials 10, and probability 0.9. So if you can, you just do that for me, see if you get the same. Let me move that over so we can see it. So I want b, p, d. The annoying thing with this is you have to go back and press binomial in x, y. So b, p, d. Num trials 8, sorry, x8, oops, num trials 10, and 0 0.9. There. 0.1937. There. Part 3 says what's the probability of at least 8 seeds, so the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8. So this will be B, C, D, uh, lower 8, upper 10, with all the rest of it in there. Uh, so I'll stick in the calc, so I need to press exit, exit, distribution, binomial, B, C, D, lower is 8, upper 10, 10, 0 0.9. So 0 0.9298. I'm going to have lost my answer. So 9298. Right, so part four is to state your assumptions. Assumptions isn't the easiest. You've got to make sure that you don't say one of them twice. So each seed has a constant probability or has a, yeah. germinating of 90% there. So I've done something to do with the fact that the probability is constant. The next one is independence. This is one where it gets confusing because it kind of, you almost link them both together. So choosing a, third, a, a seed that will germinate is independent of choosing another seed. So, so you can say that each seed germinating is independent of whether another seed germinates. You've got to be really, really careful how you write that, or you end up saying. Um, the probability of a, a, of a seed germinating is independent, and you kind of club them both together by mistake. So I've got each seed is a constant probability of germinating pattern, really, to what I'm saying, of 90%. Each seed germinating is independent of whether another seed germinates. So that's another video with another example. Sorry, five minutes long.